Thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Eben with a WBZ News Update. Our top stories, a possible government shutdown is days away, and we're getting a better picture of how Massachusetts might be affected. According to the White House, residents who receive WIC benefits could lose those benefits and possibly be turned away at grocery stores. The White House says this will affect nearly 25,000 women, over 76,000 children, and at least 24,000 infants in Massachusetts. The deadline for Congress to come to an agreement and avoid a shutdown is October 1st. Dozens of people who live at a Webster family campground are scheduled to be evicted from the area today. Town officials say the campsite is uninhabitable and has a number of violations. WBZ and CBS News Boston first covered this story Monday. We spoke with Michael Finnamore, who's owned the campground for more than 50 years. Town officials gave them 48 hours to vacate the site, which is made up of RVs and motorhomes, which house 30 people. Resident assistants at Tufts University have ratified their first union contract. The Tufts RAs went on strike on move-in day. They had been negotiating with the university since February for better benefits. Their new deal gives the RAs a 46% raise, 80 meals a semester, and limits the number of students for whom they're responsible. Well, it's another chilly day, but at least the sun is out. Let's get a check of the latest forecast with Jacob Wyckoff. Squeezing out some of the sun's rays. Notice a little bit of blue showing up. Maybe if you joined us a half an hour ago, you saw a little bit more haziness in the sky. Maybe it's not as thick as what we saw, but still this wildfire smoke is around temperatures rebounding from our cool morning lows, even chilly morning lows. We're back into the 60s in many spots. We're at 67 in Chatham, 63 in Boston and Bedford and 60 degrees in Worcester. Our wind is coming right off the ocean. And so with that, we're staying on the cooler side for the Cape and Islands and right along the coastline. But even inland, it is a cooler than average day. And you'll see that we are dry, but we're not all that sunny with the filtered sunshine from the Canadian wildfire smoke. This is the system that we're watching as we go into the weekend. This is going to start to creep up the eastern seaboard. A little bit of energy is going to be added to it with this area of disturbed weather out towards the Ohio River Valley. And so those two combinations may kind of throw a wrench into what was looking like a pretty decent weekend forecast. 67 for a high today with filtered sunshine. Definitely a fall feel. Some of you writing in saying I threw on my seat warmers for the first time. Perhaps you took the extreme step of turning the heat on this morning. I wouldn't judge you at all if you did so. Tonight we're back into the 50s for Boston. I think some places inland, far inland, may actually see the upper 30s and low 40s as you go out towards Western Mass, perhaps northwest Worcester County. But even one of the cooler spots this past uh, overnight was Norwood, Taunton area. You could perhaps get back into the middle to low 40s for your overnight lows. And this is the time of the year as we close out the month of September that we typically see our first frost of the season. If we're not able to hit it tonight, looking ahead, I really don't see too many chances because we're going to warm up in a big way as we go into next week. First week of October is going to feel very summer-like, if you will, with temperatures that are going to be near 80 degrees. But inland is where we typically see our first frost and then that slow trek towards the Cape and Islands as we go through the month of October. Again, we're delayed by at least a couple of weeks. 68 for a high tomorrow. Some morning smoky haze, and then we're back to a chance for some sunshine. The later into the day we go, some wildfire smoke will kind of mix on out of here, move to our north, and we're back to some sunshine. High pressure is what is funneling in some of that smoke, but then that departs and we watch for that area of low pressure to creep to our north. I do expect us to see some rain on Friday, perhaps even into Saturday. If we see some rain on Saturday, it would just make for uh, another mess of a weekend that we want to kind of squeeze out and see the foliage and all that kind of stuff. You know, through Friday at noontime, we could be talking about anywhere from a half inch to a quarter inch, mainly south of the Mass Pike. This is going to be a storm that we kind of watch as it evolves, as it moves closer to us to see the areas that will pick up the most rainfall. But for now, it's looking like the best chances for any sort of rain will be kind of the Mass Pike in South. The farther north you go, the less of a chance you'll see the rain. But we're still working on how much rain comes to the north and will any rain be around on Sunday at the moment, kind of looking on the drier side for Sunday. 
Saturday, unfortunately, I've dropped the temperatures a little bit back into the 60s. If we stay on the rainy side, we'd likely be in the low 60s for our highs. And obviously that throws a wrench into any plans that you had to check out the fall foliage. Still though, the best foliage viewing is to our north. It's not great right now. Uh, we do have another report coming up at five o'clock on WBZ News from Laura Hayfley. She's going to be talking to uh, uh, a fall foliage expert as far as what he's expecting for the rest of the season. I think that it's going to be unfortunately not the greatest season overall for foliage, but we do have the rain in the forecast Friday and Saturday. We're back to some sunshine Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Paula. I'm Paula Evan. This has been a WBZ News Update.